sometimes we don't have the time to do full fleshed out episodes with guests and stuff. And so that's when we do some bullshit. Welcome back to a Domance Don Some Bullshit episode. I'm Luke, he, him, sometimes they, them, and I'm joined by my lovely, wonderful, and See, the third thing is the hardest thing, right? Well, I was going to say Hispanic, and I was like, well, that's, I feel like that's a weird thing to describe you as. Like, you you are, but also just like, I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of a, a weird one to throw yeah. up there with the other two. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, Janine, Hello. Hello, it's me, your friend Janine. My pronouns are she, they, and did did you, I'll have a third thing to say this time, but did, did you just go off the cuff for that song, or did, did you have that written down? Because, like, I, I could not tell either way. I'm full of surprises that you know, but Hispanic third thing's not the way to go. We're going on adventures, we're going to see how much we can do on this SBS. (laughs) I'm at like the right point of slap happy. So... She that is me. that is the correct energy to bring into this. Yes. Uh, sorry for folks who are uh, excited for Duval. Janine, do you have any Duval theories? Um, a football player. Interesting. Let's see if that pans out. Uh, but I have two plan sections, and then we might also have time to get to fan questions this episode so janine are you ready sure yes all right so this week uh it's been a while since we have done one of these we have lucky baker's dozen number of devil fruits to rank and then i've got our new hot section introducing new characters as mostly sexy ladies so let's get into the (laughs) devil fruit first uh up first we have the elephant elephant fruit (laughs) remember how it was a sword (laughs) that got fed a devil fruit that good old funk breed that's that's right Mm -hmm. that that fucking was was that was that vega punk uh-huh vega punk is behind that uh the technology not I don't think he specifically made Funk Fruit. We don't know yet. No, we are still a few years of the podcast away from getting to Vegapunk. Um, I don't have any desire to turn into an elephant. I think this is going to be like a D for me. How about you, Janine? S rank to F rank. Uh, uh, listen. We all saw Elephant Peach. We mm-hmm. all have different opinions about it. Mm-hmm. I don't have to go into it, but I'll just say that, that it's an A rank for me. And we're going to leave it at that. Fair enough. Uh, up next, we have the Inu Inu or Mutt Mutt Fruit Model Wolf. And I'm on the hunt. I'm after you. Smell like a sound because I'm a hungry like an Inu Inu Model Wolf. Um, Janine, how do you feel about being a wolf girl of sorts? <laughs> Oh, that's that's definitely S rank. Um, mm-hmm. Probably for the reason that you're thinking about. Big furry wolf girl? 
big furry wolf girl titties? No, wolf dick. Oh. Okay. That that wasn't what I was thinking of. It's a C rank for me. I don't uh I'm I'm not a dog person or a wolf person. Uh we then have the Ushi Ushi or Ox Ox model giraffe and uh Hoo-hoo. Talk about getting some necking. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about being a tall boy. Talk about being a IRL Timothy Chalamet. Uh, you know, I, I'd put it at B at least for shits and giggles. Uh, well, the thing is, is that we did get to see it have strong utility pretty soon after being eaten so it 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 was pretty good um i would huh okay i that's definitely a b rank like if i had a choice between that and something else i would think Mm -hmm. about it but you know compared to others it could end up being like the best in the bunch yeah i just sent you the picture of the alternate universe where khalifa Got that one? Oh. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. She goes Papers. all the way up there. Uh-huh. <laughs> the legs go all the way up? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But Oda was a coward and did not draw Kaku with the bubble fruit. So that was a B rank for you? Yes. Nice. Uh, we then have the Awa Awa or Bubble Bubble Fruit. The Awa 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 Awa. <laughs> uh, do you want to get someone all clean? Or do you want to get them dirty? This is a very perverted power. Uh huh. So it's going to get the A rank, yeah. Uh, It would be like a C for me. I don't really want to rub up against other people, generally speaking. But that's just me. You know, we are free to be different people, Janine. We then have three of us. yeah, three of them that you probably aren't going to remember. Up first, we have the berry berry or the berry berry fruit. Do you want to turn your body into orbs, 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 orbs? Mm, I did not like this one. It was very unsettling for me. Mm-hmm. I feel like that, like if I was in, in a situation where all of me was just orbs all of a sudden, um. That would you wouldn't just be, be having a ball. I would not be having a ball. No. Um. So yeah, I I think that that's an F rank for me. I don't Ooh. think I have the balls for it. Uh there is like a gap where I don't think we were clear on like what we are ranking Devil Fruit, and it's like, oh well, I. Don't think that's the first F rank you gave, but uh, that's a C for me. I I feel like I have the right shit poster attitude for it. Yeah, I could see you doing something very clever and very annoying with it that I'm I'm sure other people would very much enjoy. Hey, look at me! I'm a one man phantasm recreation. Like that? The only horror movie with balls. We then have the Sabi Sabi or Rust Rust Fruit. R.I.P. Zoro's Sword. Um. <sighs> there is inappropriate jokes we could make here. Um, but <laughs> I. Uh, you know, I. No, I'd I'd probably accidentally use it, and then, like, God, you'd have, like, rust 
in like the toilet and the shower and that's it's going to be a D rank for me. Huh. I'm sure that there is a way to mitigate everything that is about it. And I'm sure that like there is like I don't know, I feel like that there's just like so many ways like around it that the best thing you could be able to do is just like not even like destroy people's weapons when you're fighting them. Mm-hmm. Like we saw it get used as. Like it just feels like you could just like destroy ships. I mean, like, mm-hmm. then you're, like, at risk of drowning and stuff, but, like... Mm-hmm. Enemy ships. Yeah, definitely. Those are that guy's ships. It's, they're okay. Mm-hmm. it's okay to kill them. Mm-hmm. So, what are you ranking? The Sabi Sabi? Uh... I guess it's C. Okay. We then have the Shari Shari or Wheel Wheel Fruit, uh, one that was not in the anime but was in the manga, uh, which was a weird, uh, this is not how this goes, you can make any part of your body into wheels, and actually I think this might be A rank for me. If you're going places, uh, I, I can't. Janine, make that ass turn. No, like oh my God. <laughs> turn table today. Oh, okay. Um, not as bad as balls, mm-hmm. but still unsettling. Mm-hmm. I would give it an ooh, hmm. D. D. Yes. Okay. Uh, we then have the yummy yummy or. Dark Yugi, Dark Yugi fruit. <laughs> Pharaoh. Uh, yeah, the Yami Yami or Dark Dark fruit of Blackbeard. It sucks. Literally. Oh, yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I mean, I'm sure it's great and terrifying. And, like, if I had it, it probably would have corrupt me as well. No, I feel like Blackbeard was already pretty corrupt, and that's why he was fine sucking off Ace. Oh, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, A rank. A rank. Interesting. Yes, it's got very good utility. It's got it gives you pretty phenomenal power, but does. I can't put it on S rank because I can't think of any creative sexual uses for it. Protestant. Uh, I it's a C rank for me. I I once again feel like it is one that I am very likely to accidentally misuse. Mm. Uh, we then have the Yomi Yomi or the Revive Revive fruit. If you want to get a second chance at life for me it's a d you get one go around and if you're not good enough at that you really want to try again because oh. you also return to your body when you were living and otherwise you just end up with like no ability to swim yeah like it's it's useful once Mm-hmm. Everybody gets one. Well, everyone who eats this gets one. And mm-hmm. I... Who, I mean... It's a question of, like, is it worth losing the ability to swim? Mm-hmm. Well, and I guess it depends. Do you continue to age after you come back? Because if you died when you were like 90 because you're super old and then you just come back into your 90-year-old body, that that seems less helpful. Yeah, there's 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 a lot. that, mm-hmm. and, and the fact that your soul could be able to get lost. We, we are going well, to see happens. future... We do see future powers that it has coming okay. up. 
but where like, there's some more utility. What would happen if, like, I just couldn't find where my body was? Like, if they just and, and, hit it or something. Yeah, and then you went into a bar and you went into the Lovematic Tester and <laughs> became the Lovematic Janine, the Wisecratic Janine. She'll fill our hearts with love. Oh. While shopping for some cans, a journey <laughs> passed away. She floated up towards heaven, but got lost along the way. Yeah, I do know the full song. But... Yes, I am. Um, I, I love that you do. I love that you were able to work it into this um but yes that 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 is now a concern that we have now that these two worlds are like connected together and oh, oh i didn't actually press what if there. somebody puts my shadow into a like love testing machine i mean you could move your spirit out of the love testing machine should you you just gotta believe. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling about that? Uh, I'm feeling like that. Huh. C rank. Nice. We then have the Horo Horo or Hollow Hollow Fruit. Uh, do you want to make people depressed, depressed, Jenny? Do you want to shoot ghosts? Do you want to be able to turn into a ghost? That seems fun, yeah. Yeah. It's an S rank for me, I think. Yeah, definitely me too. I feel like that there have, were just so many fun, different utility things that were just done with it that I feel like, man... There's, sure, there's downsides, but, I mean. Turning into a ghost and just going everywhere as a ghost. Sounds yeah. pretty fun. Uh, we then have the Kage Kage, or Shadow Shadow Fruit. Ah. Uh, like, it. It's powerful, it has specific uses and weaknesses, but uh, I, it would be like a D for me. I have no desire to use this to steal people's shadows or swap places with my battle mat or transform someone else's shadows. I think it's a B rank for me. I think that there are a lot of cool things you'd be able to do with something like this, but mm -hmm. I also feel like um I don't know, may maybe it's just because like I'm I'm thinking a lot of uh Gecko Moria and like what uses it was used there. May th there could be a more positive way to use these shadow powers that I don't know about. I'm just maybe a little bit intimidated about history. So mm -hmm. uh B rank for potential, but you know, I don't know. Yeah, B rank feels right. All right, we then have the suke suke or clear clear fruit. I I feel like knowing my entire persona, it's not going to work out well for me. It would be like a C, like. I'd forget about it, and I'd be crossing the street, and then I get hit by a car oh. on accident. Uh... I also can't be trusted, not for perverted reasons, but just, like, shenanigans to be invisible. <laughs> um, S rank for me. I mean, I'm not... I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be weird about it, okay? I'm just going to steal a lot. Okay. I'll trust you for now. 
I don't uh, want it for any creepy reasons. I just want to shoplift. There's there's better powers that you could use for shoplifting that we've had in this episode, Jenny. You know who they can't stop from shoplifting? A berry person! <laughs> and you know why? Because it's a raw berry. Oh my god. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, And then up last, we have the Niku Niku or Paw Paw Fruit. And uh, S rank for me. I know more of what it can do. Uh, and I would use it for good. Like killing those straw hats once and for all. <laughs> uh, it's an A rank for me. A for mm -hmm. adorable. I know it's deadly and like very ultra powerful, but also look how cute it is. Oh, yeah. You, you just go up to all the ladies and be like, Nyan. You, you seem to have a lot of uh, pain in you. What if I take that out and put it into this asshole? Nyan. <laughs> that, that's, that's exactly how I talk to him. And yes, you, you found me out. Well, I know you very well because you're a person who's very turned on by middle-aged women. I a person oh. who's very turned on oh. by middle-aged women. <laughs> I had a loop. <laughs> oh. I was playing mix mixtape before you got on and I forgot that I had to set it. All right. Well, speaking of middle-aged women, Janine, are you ready for part 2? Um, wow. Okay. What a way to to, to put that out there. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, so. I thought I had the file downloaded, but I apparently didn't. Oh, wait, no, I did. Uh, <laughs> I am going to link you to a slideshow. Everybody loves a slideshow. Mm-hmm. You know what I did last weekend? Or, well, technically the weekend before? Yes, I was there. You were? No, I wasn't. I was lying. I was trying to impress you. Now, what did you do? What did you do? I went to see Mamma Mia! <laughs> the musical featuring the movie The Music of Abba. <laughs> and that is a musical where a young woman is trying to find out who her papa is because her mama will not tell her who her papa is. And that is the summary of Mama Mia. <laughs> That's enough vamping. Uh, so I have sent you a photo of nine people. Eight of them are ladies uh, representing the supernovas and also one additional character and, uh, Janine, uh, are, are you looking at the slide right now? I am. I am right now. I am. Yes. <laughs> so we have nine different folks, uh, marked with, uh, letters. Uh, do you want to just give a quick description of each one of them? That way the audience can put together and then I'll also include an image of the slide on the uh, website at domancedawn.com so you can play along at home. But uh, who do we have for A? Ah, uh, wow. Um, a really cool Digimon protagonist. Mm hmm And B? Uh, the hacker girl from Persona 5. And C. That is uh Elite Four Will. He was a psychic uh type user from the Elite Four in the Gold and Silver. Uh D. Uh Is 
it's it's giving Hihachi from Tekken. Interesting. I don't uh, want to say that for sure. Uh, how about E? Uh, wow. You know, it's funny. I, 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 I had a look that was just like this in like 2012. Mm-hmm. So I'm looking at it and I'm like, is um me? <laughs> uh F. Uh, the Pokemon Sligoo. <laughs> uh, G. Uh, Kid Rock. Uh, H. Human Chopper. And I. Um. I mean, with the cowboy hat and the fucking look of it all. I I I just want to say the name Butch. Fair. Uh, so, Janine, you remember how I've shown you that there is gender-swapped fan art, uh, or gender-swapped official art of all the Straw Hats and other characters? Yes. Yes, these are all the gender-swapped arts of the Supernovas and one additional character. Oh. Uh, and these are characters who we are going to be meeting, and I have a prepared six, uh, well... Seven if you want to uh, play names, but I will let you pick a category, and then I will ask you to match or answer which one of these characters it is relevant for. Uh, so the categories that we have are the character's actual name, their pirate crew, their devil fruit, their nickname, their country, their favorite food, or the bonus question. So... Uh, let me know what question you would like first. The bonus question. All right, you want a bonus question. All right. I immediately oh. zoomed in on it when I heard it. I was like, oh my god. All right. Which character's flower most resembles a black lily. If they were a flower, who resembles a black lily? Uh... D. That would not be correct. Uh, we are looking for C as the answer there. Oh, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. Uh, you can pick another category. You can't pick the same category twice in a row. Favorite food. All right. Let's roll that die. Meatballs and a tomatoes. Uh, I'm going to go with G. Uh, I was looking for I... Uh, G's favorite food is pizza margarita. So close. Mm hmm All right. Uh, what next? There uh, is name, pirate fruit, devil fruit, nickname, country, favorite food, or bonus. Nickname. All right. Whose nickname is Kizaru? F. Uh, you were one off. Uh, the F's nickname is the Mad Monk. 
E's nickname is Kizaru. And uh, do you recognize F's haircut? Wait, is that from a Skypean? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'm uh -huh. Okay. <sighs> All right. What would you like to guess for your next category? Uh, uh who? Hmm, hmm. Country. All right. Whose country would it be if they were from a real world country? Scotland. A. Ah, uh, yes, that is correct. Awesome. Mm hmm. And since you did get that one fully correct, that is a gender swapped version of Eustace Captain Kid. Oh, I can't wait to find out what that means. Mm hmm. In the uh, dub. Uh, Kid is voiced by the same voice actor as Yusuke Urameshi. Oh, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, next, what category do you want? Uh... Devil Fruit. All right. Who has the Shiro Shiro or Castle Castle Fruit? Uh, B. Interesting. Uh, they actually have the Oto Oto or Tone Tone fruit. I has the Shiro Shiro or Castle Castle fruit. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I assume that you'd want to do Pirate Crew next? Yes, yes. Uh, you you found me out very easy. I mm -hmm. am definitely trying to get all across the board as much as I can. All right. Who is the leader of the Heart Pirates? Or who is a member of the Heart Pirates? Uh, I'm going to go H. H for Heart. That is correct. That is Trafalgar Law of the Heart Pirates pirates awesome. also known as the surgeon of death <laughs> oh my god mm -hmm. and they also have the other big dub voice and then last we've got the name so which one of these characters is named scratchman apu oh my goodness Yes, for no reason, here's Apu. <laughs> uh, e? Uh, no. E is Borsalino. Okie dokie. Uh, so. We are just going to run through the rest of the bonus questions really quick. So are you ready? Uh, we already did one of those. Uh, well, we'll go through the other eight. Oh. Which character has a crew member who should also be on this list? Whoa. Uh, that's that. That's that. Huh. The only thing I can be able to do at this point is take a shot in the dark, and I say D. That would be incorrect. It would be A. Which character will we need to cast gender swapped because of a promise that I made to you in a earlier episode of the show? Oh, wow, that's very specific. Uh-huh. 
Uh, uh, well, you said I needed to preserve the lesbianity of a situation. Okay, I feel like I know the situation a little bit more now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna guess C? No, uh, that is the character who most resembles the Black Lily. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I already forgot that. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a second guess. I'll give you a second guess. All right, all right, all right. F. That would be incorrect. Uh, the correct answer is I. Ah. Mm-hmm. Which character is a member of the Long Arm Tribe? heard it before i've heard it before haven't i have i not uh i don't think we've actually met a member of the long arm tribe yet i think we might have heard one mentioned in passing though okay d d is incorrect uh the correct answer is b as in b -b -b boy Scratchman Apu is a member of the Longarm Tribe. And they are going to kind of fuck you up. Okay. Uh-huh. Which character collects commemorative coins? Da -da. G? That would be H. H collects commemorative coins. Which character shares a birthday with rapper slash actor slash accused of many things, Drake? Whoa, ho, ho. Mm hmm. F? That would be incorrect. I'm looking for D. Uh, that character's name is X Drake. I I feel like I've partied with that person on Guy Online. <laughs> uh, all right. Next question: Which character is the youngest? Uh, is it me? No. Is it G? It is G. That is Jewelry Bonnie, aka the Big Eater. Sounds amazing. Mm hmm And we have one of the most wonderful coincidences of a new Simpsons character being introduced for them in those episodes. Uh, all right. Which character is a Marine Admiral? Uh... Is it D? Uh, no, it is E. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. And then the last one you should remember from discussions that we've already had, which is, which character is from a Sky Island? Oh, well, yeah, that that's gonna be F. It's gonna be F. All right. So that wraps up this... Let's premiere most of the 11 supernovas before we get to them in, like, two episodes. Are you excited about these new characters? I am. I am. I, I have no idea the context for them, and it is all seeming like it's going to be uh, very clear and very important very soon. Yes. Uh, I think that you're going to get jazzed and excited um all right well we have enough time for one or two questions on the discord uh discord is free to join and uh the first one is from king atticus who wants to know do you like popcorn and if so how do you like it um i do like popcorn uh i like kettle corn um which like but not like it's not my main one. I 
you know, I like movie theater, but um, I don't know. Like, um, I don't think I, I like, like, the fresh butter mm-hmm. in the movie theater. I don't know how I feel mm-hmm. about that particularly, but um, I do also like uh, Frank's hot sauce and lime. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Uh, we have a popcorn place nearby called Al's Delicious Popcorn, where the old mural that they had made Al look like he was Emperor Palpatine, but instead of shooting force lightning from his hands, it was popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and they have a lot of flavors. Some of it's just like, oh yeah, no, we combined like six different flavors so you could get like a caramel apple pie or whatever. Um, but I, I, I enjoy... Uh, a Chicago mix, which is cheddar and caramel corn. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Uh, though they also have one that, uh, like, they have some interesting mixes there. Uh, if you ever come out to the Columbus, we will go to Al's Delicious Popcorn. I feel like I have to at some point. Mm-hmm. Uh, go to Al's Delicious Popcorn or come out to Columbus? Probably both. Fair. Uh, Mike Patton wants to know a question that you might have an easier time or a more recent time to answer about than I do, which is, what was your last rental from a video store, not a digital rental? Now, for me, I am not, no, I was going to say I'm 90% sure, and then I remembered, no, uh, we went to a Blockbuster when we moved outside of date and the last time i really remember though was we rented a bunch of kevin smith films and the first season of 30 rock to watch for my birthday party but i know that i had rented some other movies at the blockbuster after that point but that's the one the last one that i have a very clear memory of what about you janine i have an active um renters problem thing with the local video store here in Austin. We love video. And I have not used it in a fucking long time. But, you know, I, I moved to a different part of the city and, like, it's mm-hmm. kind of hard to, like, make a day to go out all the way over there to get, like, a videotape. But mm-hmm. the last time that I did, I forgot. I, I only remember one of them that I definitely did watch. I don't think I got to watch the other one. Um, but it well, the one that I did watch was uh, WWF, like, most strangest matches. And a lot of it was just, like, not even, like, very strange matches. They're just kind of match types that actually end up kind of becoming the staple, like, of mm-hmm. what, like, comes after. Like, uh, a ladder match mm-hmm. was, uh, was one of them. And it's, like, it's so weird that like this concept was so novel when I see like 20 ladder matches, like not a month, but like, yeah, you can use it in a wrestling video game. Exactly. Like, you know, and like the one that that they showcased on the tape was like the first one because they didn't really like, it really hadn't happened before. And like, it didn't get it, as played out as it did until like the attitude era and like it, it's just so it's so weird like watching it and just like realizing like where like th- things were at that point and how they definitely had to like build up in so many different ways just to kind of like you know be better than the stuff that was there before. Um, if I remember, like, the actual, like, full title, like, I'll post it because, like, it's it's worth the watch if you, if you like wrestling and you like looking stuff from the past and, like, using a VHS player, uh, definitely recommend it. Like, I see it over on, like, places that are selling wrestling VHS tapes all the time for, like, reasonable amount of money. Mm-hmm. Get it cheap. Nice. 
Well, we're going to end an episode that will be under an hour for the first time in a while, because next episode and the next few ones will probably run long. Uh, you've been listening to Do Man's Dawn. Uh, this is a some bullshit special, because uh, when you're hearing this, I would have gone to CXC and I just needed time to go through a lot of things. So, uh, yeah, it's... It's gonna be awake. <laughs> Janine, where can people find you online? You'll be able to find me on Twitter and Blue Sky at Janine Juliet. Instagram, Janine is dope. And hey, I, I'm, I am on Space Hey now. Uh, you can be able to find me there uh, by looking up uh, the profile Poisonous. I should be there. Friend me there. And then also do nothing i've i am not really that social on it but i made myself a pretty fucking awesome profile and i'm very proud of it and i'm not gonna link it anywhere the only way that you can be able to get to it is if you type it in yourself with your fingers mm-hmm. fun and i am luke you can find me most places as Coltreg, K-O-L-T-R-E-G. Once I've gotten through this week, I'll probably have more clear, like, new updated links, but most of my comic stuff you can find at coltreg.itch.io or uh, I'm on Blue Sky. Just it's Coltreg. I'm only using one. Ah, one's, one social media for the most part, and it's nice. Uh, I'm also posting more comic tutorials on youtube uh mike Patton should be back doing our cover this week you can find him most places at Patton underscore pending or p-a-t-t-e-n-p-e-n-d-i-n-g give him a shout out i'm excited to see what he cooks up for this episode and uh yeah otherwise Domance dawn updates every other week and we'll be back in two weeks as uh we find out what Duvall's deal is and Janine. Yes. You'll never see me coming. Because of Iron Man 3. Oh. Anyway, smooth sailing. Mm -hmm.